I believe we are in an historic and critical moment for the church in which we all have an opportunity to play a very significant role. It's harvest time and it's upon us now. I had the privilege of attending the 75th anniversary at the Apostolic Church in Ghana. Take a look at this short video clip of that event. It's hard for me to convey the experience of seeing 80,000 people in attendance at this opening event in Accra, which is in fact only a fraction of the church membership just in the capital, and only about 1% of apostolic believers in East Africa. I don't just see numbers, but individual people that have each been taken from darkness and brought into the marvelous light of the gospel. These are the third and fourth generation of the original pioneers, and they still are full of zeal and want to extend the good news to many others in their own nation. Our Canadian church actually had an important role to play in that explosive evangelism that took place in East Africa in the late 1940s and early 1950s. Pastor Fred Poole and Pastor B.G. Evans were Canadian pastors who were impacted by a Holy Spirit move here in Canada called the Latter Rain, and then were sent to Nigeria as apostle and prophet. Astonishing miracles took place, which created a wildfire revival. Pastor Stanley Hammond was our missionary on site in Nigeria, and he took the time to give me an eyewitness account. Now, these were simply messengers used by the Holy Spirit to ignite the fire, which quickly spread to the grassroots and perpetuated a move that impacted millions throughout East Africa and for generations to come long after the original messengers had left. I believe they left behind an apostolic and prophetic spirit of Christ in the believers. Apostolic and prophetic ministry has been the hallmark of our movement, birthed by D.P. Williams and Jones Williams in that capacity. I would say that, in fact, it is the reason why we exist as a movement. It is more than having apostles and prophets. It is, in fact, about creating an apostolic and prophetic body, an apostolic and prophetic spiritual environment and church culture. It is the ordinary believer working in active partnership with the Holy Spirit that actually creates an evangelistic wildfire. In conclusion, we need to stir up that gift that was so graciously given to us for our inheritance, and we need to awaken it to our purpose. We're not looking nostalgically back, but rather engaging in the faith of our forefathers to press ahead. It happened in East Africa then. Why not in Canada now?